I take my hat off to Libby, to Libby, Montana. If you couldn't read this in black and white, you couldn't believe it. It's a science fiction story. This is what the world sees of Libby. Either this is the most horrific story I've ever heard in my life, or those people are completely crazy. It couldn't have happened. Each person has to make up their mind what's real to them. Libby is a lot like a lot of towns were 10, 20 years ago, even though at the same time we're progressive. We have cable TV and everything you'd want. Libby was a real small town. In those days, I mean, I guess we believed in, in everybody. People worked in the mines or they worked in logging. You know, that's pretty much what's here. They took an awful lot of ore off that mountain. They made an awful lot of money on it. We were lucky. We were a little town and we had a corporation that came in that was going to take care of us. This entire community was being exposed to a toxic pollutant. They chose to keep that information to themselves. The stuff was in your clothes. It was everywhere. Anybody that lived here prior to 1990 is exposed. And a lot of people in town think we're crackpots. There are people who I think are giving Libby a, a bad shake. This has gotten too far out of hand. This has gotten completely off track. I am an asbestos case. I've been accused of being a rebel or activist, and I'm real proud of that. I'm not really disabled. I just can't breathe. If I don't have grace, my good constant companion. Out of this population of 6,000 people, one-fourth of those, or 1,500, will have asbestos-related changes on x-ray. W.R. Grace committed homicide, and I don't know if they're ever going to be held accountable. It'll be a cold in hell before EPA allows W.R. Grace in, on the Rain Tree Nursery property after we've been treated by W.R. Grace. If we keep arguing, then our children and our grandchildren are going to be saying, you know, and you didn't do nothing but sit there for 20 years and argue about it. Now little sister Sally's got it. If you get involved and find out what actually took place here, you'll be a believer.